squad again. As you can see from the background, they've been forced to change because Dundee are playing in the navy blue, of course. And the outstanding performer for Rangers, I would have said, David Cooper. Four goals, two penalties, well backed up by Ali Dawson and the youngsters in the side. And with a huge backing, Rangers will make a formidable force this evening for the final. Well, judging from the four games that have watched them playing, and I would uh, make them favourites to win this final, playing outstandingly well. And I think they've got the best player in the tournament in Ian Ferguson, who scored four quite outstanding goals. The sights and sounds of a Scottish Cup final about this. It may be indoors, it may be new, it might be quite noble, but it sounds very much like Scottish football. Tremendous atmosphere in the crowd, and that was almost an own goal from Cooper. Rangers in the rack immediately. Only half a minute gone. There's the shot, and Bruce looking extremely good. Ferguson almost peppering that goal mouth. There's Ferguson. Picked up by Redford, the ex Dundee player. McGeeky goes with them. Scored of that first vital goal in the semi final, and that's a weak finish. Ten minutes each way in the final. Cooper playing in the left back position, and Cammy Fraser very intelligently sneaking down there. The midfield is Dundee's Ferguson. Dawson, long his ball, but along the ground. Cooper. Well, much too casual about that, Ferguson. McClelland, casually away. Cammy Fraser, Ferguson right over, and the Rangers players who've been watching every game must realise that uh, Ferguson has been tormenting defences. Here's Cooper. McGeeky watching it very closely. Got out of that very well indeed. Seems to me Dundee have shown a greater appetite than any team in this tournament. Cooper. One nice ball through. Brilliantly saved by Geddes. This Cooper again is genius showing. Richardson. Ferguson, McClellan bustles after it. It's laid out and Redford seemed to hesitate. Ferguson playing superbly. Well, he had been heating. The superlant is on this young man. And that was a chronic hit. Youth internationalist. Almost three minutes gone. Still no scoring. We've seen more of Dundee. But here, the Irish internationalist, Jimmy Nicol. Tries to follow up. McGeeky. Rather naively going for that uh, rebound there it was much too obvious. Dawson. Williamson. Great shot. Falling backwards. Well, he unleashed it. He'll be building it up from the back. Tosh McKinley. Delicately shot to the side. Ferguson fights for it. Billy Davis, the other teenager. Davis, is he trying to take his man on? I think he is! Almost got away with it, slight deflection. That cocky little player went up there, shimmied. Tried to screw it round. That's a massive range of supporters in the background. As indeed, it looked as if they would take a very quick control. Couldn't put the ball in the back of the net, and he does it again brilliantly. That is his fifth goal of the tournament as Dundee going to the lead, 1-0.
with uh, three and a half minutes of the first half remaining. Ferguson, Davis, Williamson tries to go in. Great save. Goalkeeper squeezing it away. There's Williamson. Some very bad and slack, almost forced passing by Rangers. Cooper. Dawson with it, he scored! Yes, well taken by Dawson, but a brilliant pass by Cooper. One each. Victory on the halftime bell, and that was swept away superbly. The Dundee players are actually complaining that time was up, but the, the timekeeper says it was a legitimate goal. There's a bit of controversy. Look at the Dundee players looking up at the timekeeper. They cannot believe it. They say that the bell had gone, in fact, but uh, it was right on the bell, according to the timekeeper. So the score, one all for the scorers, uh, Ferguson, Ian Ferguson for Dundee and Ali Dawson for Rangers. Well, I think the Dundee players are still seething about that. But the score is one all. There's Williamson for Rangers. Uh, Rangers uh, didn't show up terribly impressively in that half, I must say, but... Against Motherwell, they came through very strongly in the second half. Fraser. McKinley. Dawson. Well, he's complaining about that, said he went uh, for the ball as the head was going down, but the referee has given the free kick. Looks for the one-two again. Cooper tries to go in. Then Dawson. Fraser, what a superb pass. Done it, yes, McKinley. That was a brilliant ball. Look at that pass. Perhaps the best we've seen this week. And then it went 2 1 for Dundee. And Dawson, and Snickle. Leon Cooper. Yes, Cooper. Williamson. Williamson going through and he scores. Oh, I think they should be asking themselves why Williamson was allowed to make a free run without a tackle. It's now 3-2, a superb final. It was the run that mattered. Look at him going right clean through and he finished it very well. Still seven minutes left. Yes, turned in there, very cleanly by Ray Steven. 4-2 and it's the sharpness of the finishing that counts for Dundee Ferguson and shooting from there against his well-organized defense is uh, a rather futile exercise there's a brilliant ball against Stephen And there's a... Here's Williamson. Mitchell turning. Williamson tries to go in, it goes free. And there's McClellan. Now Davis. And Ian Ferguson. 
who made goal scoring look 